What is right here guys, welcome to another Road to Glory Hidden Gems video here. I'll be taking a look at some MLS players. So uh, these are all players that would fit really underneath, you know, a budget for a lower end League 2 side. Of course, Football League 2, you can see it's Atkinson Stanley's budget. They are one of the lower end sides. So every player on this list will fit into that. And Jordan Allen definitely does uh, well underneath the budget. So he's, you know, less than half of the budget uh, that I showed before. So $325,000, excuse me, uh, is very nice. Uh, you'll see he has some pretty good physical stats. And I have to say, he's probably the best player on me showcasing this video. He was tremendous, I have to say. So, uh, hope you guys do take a look at him if you're going to do Road to Glory style career. And of course, you can just do it uh, to your loan or whatever uh, whatever you please, basically. But uh, either way, he'll fit underneath the budget if you do want to buy him as well. But uh, you can see, again, decent pace, ball control, dribbling. But he grew very quickly with training and the like. And he actually uh, would you know, grow very quickly even after this, I have to say. So, end of year one, 65 overall. He's actually uh, 70 potential, I believe. So uh, he did grow pretty quickly and you see now end of year three uh, 68 overall so it uh, you know, he's basically around a championship level, I'd say, at the moment. So, uh, and that really fits with, uh, you know, if you're going to play you're playing in League 2, uh, especially d all the way down to Football League 2. But uh, he would basically cap out at a 71 overall. This is actually above his, um, his Sofia potential. And he's only 25 years old. You saw he actually grew a lot physically, uh, even though I did somewhat overtrain him at times. But, uh, you know, that's great to see that type of growth. So, very quick growth, good ball control, dribbling, short passing, good mental stats, uh, nice physical stats stats as well. I think he could play really nice in like a narrow diamond formation where he'll be able to play a little bit out wide, take advantage of his pace, uh, put the ball in in the like. Uh, so really solid player. But moving on now, higher end on the list uh, per se as far as price goes. $700,000. Probably get him for a bit cheaper as well. Samad Okugbe, the 20-year-old left back, 62 overall. He's pretty pretty pacey. The agility is an issue at the say, but he's also very strong, so I think that can maybe make up for it slightly. Uh, you'll be able to push some players off the ball and the like. So he's 5'10", left back, center back, left foot and medium mean work rate, two-star weak foot, and two-star skimmers. Uh, another solid player. I do think he'd be good uh, to bring in. Uh, you might be able to bring him on loan. I only tried to look at his inquiry price, to be honest with him, but uh, 67 overall after the end of that first season. A lot of growth. Uh, I did work on his ball control dribbling as well as his marking and the like. So, you see, mental stats have improved a lot, uh, you know, defensively. And we did get his agility up slightly, but uh, he still needs some improvements in some other areas. But after that, I have to say, you know, he is already pretty close to his potential. So, he would end up reaching it here at age 25. I believe he's actually 70 potential. So, uh, you know, decent growth. He turns into a solid, you know, championship level left back. Could maybe, you know, be a rotational left back if you're in the Premier League uh, eventually. So, you know, that's not too bad at all. Uh, he's a pretty solid player, I have to say. So, I definitely would recommend recommend taking a look at him maybe try to get his price down a little bit especially if you're going to buy him if you can bring him on, on loan i think he would be you know tremendous if you can get him in on loan as well but uh moving on to the next player of course the first two players i think are some of the better ones but uh we have some other guys that are very interesting one particularly didn't have the greatest of growth but uh first we'll see actually alex and uh another very solid left mid now three hundred fifty thousand dollars another guy who fits in the budget so i would say maybe you could try to bring him him and jordan allen Jordan Allen in would both be very good players to look at uh, in this list. And, of course, other Kugbe, maybe try to bring him on loan uh, would be nice as well. He's 17 years old. You can actually buy him, so that's that's pretty good. You can see he's 5'7", left mid, left foot, and medium, medium, three-star, uh, weak foot I believe that was in two star skimmos so the work rates may be a little off as well as you might not like the skimmos but he has pretty good physical stats at the moment you know at the, you could definitely over train him I wouldn't worry too much about you know uh, the physical stats as I did train him a lot in the like and you'll probably get his agility up a little bit at in you know in the meantime and the like but uh, you see uh, did grow again very quickly with the player training 64 overall plus eight other guy who's going to be pretty close to his um his potential very quickly uh, so that's good to see now moving on uh, age 20 now up to a 68 overall so now he's definitely at the championship level again going you know kind of in line with where you would be going uh, you know if you started with a league, football league two side he certainly would grow steadily with the club and you know would turn into a very solid player as you can see you know good ball control dribbling for a, uh, in the lower leagues and you know of course pretty pacey as well so now moving on now age 22 now so this would be where he'd be capping 
uh, we would be ending basically now. He also is 74 overall uh, potential, so potential of 74, so he can still grow a little bit, turn certainly into a very nice backup uh, player. You could maybe even try him at left back. I do think you could maybe give him, give, him a go, give him a go at left back because, you know, his work rates and the like, or, you know, as a left wing back uh, and take advantage of that pace a little bit more, not have him be a complete attacker uh, and maybe try to get someone better upgrade uh, to a stronger left mid now. But uh, uh, another player here, center defensive mid, Estrella, who plays for Orlando City, three hundred thousand dollars another very good price you know as far as the budget uh goes that i showed early on but uh, he's 57 overall 19 uh, years old you can see pretty agile decent balance jumping stamina strength isn't too bad he's not that slow i uh, just need to improve a little bit with his marking and the like for cdm he's five foot eight uh right foot and medium your work rate two star weak foot two star so he's a little bit short maybe but uh i do think you know having that agility is pretty nice to see so he can certainly uh contribute in both sides of the ball with that i think that'll help a lot especially in the midfield but uh Continuing on, we'll see his growth after some player training and the like now um, at the end of year one. Of course, 65 overall, so another guy who grows fairly fast. So now he'd be certainly be around, you know, Football League One or Championship level, uh, which is pretty good to see. And of course, very good marking-wise. Short passing is looking decent. Uh, you can see tackling as well, but... Uh, Certainly need some improvements, maybe in some other areas as well. Uh, you probably would want some better ball control. Uh, probably would want to work on that a little bit, as well as some long pass and the like. But uh, moving on now, he would get to a 68 overall at age 24. Uh, so this would be again year 2020, uh, and he's only a few points off of his potential again. So that's pretty good to see. I know certainly probably could s sell him off at this point uh, for you know his value. Maybe try to get a little bit more. But either way, he'll be would have been a solid pickup uh, throughout the years for you. Uh, moving on. Now, we'll actually take a look at a guy that you'll have to bring on loan. Uh, he didn't grow that well, I have to say, unfortunately. But uh, if you've seen my Ultimate Team career mode, uh, my ultimate... I did like one ultimate team video basically is what it was and you can bring him in on loan for a ch very cheap price but I really like him uh, the way he plays in the game he didn't grow like for crap because he was injured all the time but I'm going to show him either way because I do enjoy the way he um he feels in the game very good striker for the lower levels in my opinion as well because I didn't actually you know try to bring him in uh unfortunately you know on the on a um you know the loan to buy feature i should have done that but uh tried to showcase that so i apologize for that but either way it looks pretty solid here you can see where his contract was accepted loan offer was accepted so 2000 not going to hurt your budget too much um i would say for lower end team you can maybe bring in another you know a midfielder and a defender or a goalkeeper or whatever you, you want to target after this as well but uh you'll see now um, taking a look at his, some of his uh, stats, uh, uh, 60 overall is what he is, 18 years old, striker, and his potential is 70 overall, so I would take a look at him, you know, uh, again, he, like, d basically crapped out, because uh, he lost all of his physical stats, but uh, he has a 70 potential again, so uh, you can certainly, you know, focus on some areas to make him an even better player, maybe focus on ball control, dribbling a little bit, get his finishing up, as well as, you know, heading volleys uh, and the like, uh, and maybe try to let him grow a little bit on his own when it comes to physical stats but with some agility some more you know boost his strength he'd be actually absolutely tremendous player for you guys so i certainly would take a look at him of course uh again 70 over potential overall potential for him uh, and certainly can surpass that as well so uh with that i hope this video was helpful to you guys certainly a lot of players here love talking but uh with that guys uh, thanks for tuning in i'll be signing out now and i'll catch you guys later